I am so excited about being here tonight. Very busy day here in the Big Apple. Very busy day. It's up at 4.30 this morning. Hit the snooze alarm till noon. <laughs> Was exhausted, took a nap. Just saw that new John Wayne Bobbitt film, Free Willy Part 2. A lot of people ask me if Bob Zaney's my real name. I'll be honest, it isn't. My real name is Tanya Harding. But I bet you could tell by my thighs. You know, she says she wants to hug Nancy Kerrigan. She'll be lucky if she hugs Amy Fisher. As Richard mentioned, I'm from Los Angeles. Born and raised there. Lived there my whole life. And, uh, you know, we've had 16 separate disasters there in the last five years. 16. And I don't want to get my hopes up, but there's talk. Locust. <laughs> the earthquake, we all heard about the earthquake. You know, they don't freak me out. I, I lived through earthquakes my whole life. And I was talking to my personal seismologist, and he says, <laughs> it wasn't the big one. No, it, it, it was the big one, Junior. In fact, they've upgraded the quake. It's a, first it was a 6.6, .6, now it's a 6.8. I'm thinking when it hits 7, sell. <laughs> Had a guy from FEMA. You guys know about FEMA? Yeah, he came out to the house, he uh, surveyed the damage. He said, I had a really big crack. I said, look, can we talk about the house? <laughs> now, you guys probably don't know this if you're from, is anyone from L.A.? Are you from L.A., sir? So you know if you smell gas after an earthquake, you should get out of the house, which explains why my wife is never there when I am. <laughs> I love my wife, though. I love my wife. Uh, she's a stand-up comedian, Erin O'Connor, very funny lady. People think when two comics are married, all we do is sit around laughing all the time. All we do is sit around going, hey, that's my joke. <laughs> and you need therapy. <laughs> Someone in the back got it, thank you. A lot of comics will come up here and try to make you all laugh at once, but if I can make one person laugh at a time, that's where the talent lies, baby. I love my wife, though, but I do look at other women. It's, I think it's only natural, it's a healthy, you're very beautiful, ma'am. Has anyone ever told you that? They have, kind of cocky, aren't we? But I would do anything for my wife. I would die for her. And the way she's been treating me lately, that's an option. <laughs> she says, I think with my penis. I do not think with my penis. I just go to it a lot for advice. <laughs> it's always been there for me. And I've always been there for it. It goes hand in hand, baby. She says, I'm a pessimist. I am not a pessimist. I like to think of myself as an optimist with a reality chaser. <laughs> I know the glass is half full. I want to know who the hell's been drinking out of it. <laughs> and do I have to pay full price? It's just business, baby. It's all just business to please my wife. Marriage is business. If any, any married people out here? Yeah. yeah. To please my wife. I got in touch with my feminine side. Now I have a yeast infection. <laughs> Everything is business nowadays. It's just business. A friend of mine was in Vegas. The corporations have taken that town over. He went to get a hooker, had to go through Ticketmaster. <laughs> Any Vegas people here? Anybody like Las Vegas? I'm a Vegas guy. I love, in fact, that's where I was when the earthquake hit. 4.30 in the morning, I'm playing blackjack. The pit boss comes over and says, you know, there was a big quake in L.A. I said, oh, my God. Cocktails? <laughs> Yeah, I'll go ahead and double down on the two. <laughs> but whenever I'm in Vegas, I stay at one place and one place only, the El Morocco Motel. Not the best motel in Las Vegas. I asked the clerk of the El Morocco, I said, could you upgrade my room? He gave me a towel. <laughs> True story, I'm checking in, a cockroach falls from the ceiling onto my registration card. Without missing a beat, the clerk goes, go ahead, kill it. <laughs> I said, what is this part of the fun casino package? Do I gotta give you a coupon now? Not a very good motel. Be honest with you folks. I went into the bathroom, there was a strip across the toilet. It said, for your protection, I'd hold it in. 